Lagos, I'm Sandra Ezekwesili. What should you expect when you are expecting? On the glass ceiling, we put a spotlight on solutions to the obstacles and challenges that women face every day. Those challenges are not just political. They're not just economic. They are not just social. They can also be medical. And something as commonplace as pregnancy, you'll be surprised the amount of medical risks that it brings up for women. Last Last week, uh, 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 we started this conversation with our doctor because the previous week, we had a conversation about preeclampsia and eclampsia, and that opened up a Pandora's box about pregnancy, and that's why we're staying on this subject. Um, and and today, we're discussing the challenges that um, those nine months um, can spring up, and it's not all challenges. For some people, it's a breeze. They're just like, oh, la di da da da, and they give it and it's fine, you know. But is it that way for everyone, you know? Is it it is well for everyone, or what's inside the well, you know? <laughs> let's let's have that conversation. My guest is back. She is the practice manager at One Wellness Center. Dr. Chibuki Ayigbe, good to see you. Welcome. Hi. Hi, Lagos. Hi, Sandra. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> and we're streaming live on Facebook, Nigeria Info 99.3, YouTube, Nigeria Info FM. If you have questions, I know. Let's hear all about those questions. You can also talk, um, ask us questions about. Uh, well, you say ask us. Me and my mom, the doctor, <laughs> asking. <laughs> ask her questions about preeclampsia and eclampsia as well. Ask her questions about what to expect when you're expecting. The numbers are the same: zero seven zero zero nine nine three nine nine three nine nine three zero one four six five seven one nine zero. Doctor, last week. When we finish talking, you know, oh, oh for, p- for people who didn't listen last week, last week I shared the story of a listener who wrote an email to me to tell me that um, her sister was pregnant and in the hospital and trying to give birth. The doctors were recommending cesarean section um, and the husband was refusing because he's her royal priesthood. I don't I don't know how the saying goes. He's the head of the house, you know, he doesn't want her to he's the man. Yes, you know, <laughs> it's his decision, Sha. Mm-hmm. And no, my child, you must give birth like a Hebrew woman. I did not marry a weak woman, I married a Hebrew woman, you know. And doctors are saying, Look, this woman will not be able to do this. And so she wrote to me and it was just even luck. Well, I guess I mean even the luck was not even really lucky because I saw the email, I reached out to her, um, she put me on the phone with her husband, who's also a listener to the show. Um put my husband on the phone with the man as well trying to convince this man let this woman get this um uh, um um life-saving um, um, procedure and he blatantly refused and she died while trying to to have that baby and doctor you know what after the show i got a lot of, a lot of other emails mm. with a lot of other people in that same mm. uh, uh um situation or similar situation i didn't ask last last week mm. did the child survive no they both died mother and child died you know, because they couldn't do the surgery, yeah. they couldn't get the baby out. The woman couldn't uh, 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 push. You know, it just it was it was just a mess. And one of the questions that I kept getting, you know, over and over and over, was mm. what's going to happen to the husband? Mm. Um, is there do, do we have laws that can, you know, maybe make the man answer for manslaughter? And I don't know. Do we? Oh yes. Yeah. So if you if you there is there is um, a chance for the family to take legal redress and you know sue the man you can't arrest him anyway but mm. you can sue him mm. and hope that the court actually does charge him for manslaughter mm. um so but then if if the other party can also say the woman was an adult she could make the decision by herself mm-hmm. but if you remember that um culturally we answer to our husbands mm-hmm. to some degree and mm-hmm. like you know we're talking about her own capacity as a person mm-hmm. you know how financially stable was she how educated you know we really mm-hmm. you know we had that of the air oh, oh okay so yeah all those things come into play but yes there is um he can actually you know do time for manslaughter or whatever um punishment the court the court decides, decides to, to give exactly so what what are the options of women in that situation um w- is there help that they can get from the medical doctor because if in that moment i can give consent i can say yes i want to have this baby um through cs cut it out of me or whatever and my partner is saying no um i'm putting my foot down it cannot happen you don't have my consent w- explain how consent works so in that situation in anywhere in the world anywhere in the world mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. especially in nigeria as well mm-hmm. before any procedure is being done to you mm-hmm. before any doctor does any surgical procedure be it minor 
major, 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 whatever it is, mm -hmm. he must say consent. Mm. Now that consent form, what it does is that it tell, it, it states, it gives you a summary of what the procedure is, mm -hmm. and then it says that the doctor has explained what this procedure I'm about to go in for is, mm -hmm. and that if anything. If he encounters anything during the procedure, the doctor has the right. So you're kind of like waving mm, your, your right. Your right. You right. Know, like the doctor, so the doctor can decide for you. To decide for you what mm. to do in there. Okay. okay? okay. Because it could, it, if this patient had gone in for a CS and then the, the patient you know, couldn't stop bleeding or whatever, then the onus li lies on the doctor in the theater to take out her uterus. Okay. Things like that. Okay. Now, what I noticed, in, well, I think I'm also guilty. <laughs> I think I'm guilty. I've had two cesarean sections. I'm trying to think who signed my consent form, whether it was my husband or me. Mm. But um, you can always, consents are withdrawn before pen, pen on skin, instead of knife on skin. Mm. Okay. Mm. And then another another consent taken. Mm. So it goes back to the woman. So explain that. What do you mean? Uh, consent can be withdrawn. So mm. I can give my consent to do a procedure. Mm -hmm. And then just before, if I were in the theater, everybody scrubbed in before they do the incision and mm. say I don't want to do it again. Oh. Do you understand? Right. So and then doctor can now write against medical advice. Yes, you know. yes, yes, yes. This person has what we call it has mm -hmm. been discharged against medical advice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um so you can whatever the grounds may be, whatever reasons if somebody says, "Oh, I don't want to do it. I don't. I don't want to have a procedure." The husband says, "I don't want to, to have a procedure," and the and the woman has um, a higher knowledge, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. and is exposed enough to say, "This is my body. This is my rights. Mm -hmm. This is my child that I'm about to bear. Mm -hmm. I think I can take it from here mm -hmm. and sign her consent." Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. It's it's a legal document, and it will be um, it will be. <laughs> Accepted. Mm. So, so, it, so it just requires for the woman to advocate for herself. Advocate for herself, yes. In cases, also because um, in the cases where another person can even consent for her, but that person has to be the next of kin. I think right. there's some legalities around that. Mm, I mm. see. Now let's talk about why um, people often don't, um, you know. I, I don't want to say don't want to do CS because, you know, I don't think anyone wants to do major surgery and CS is major surgery. But let's talk about why people are... Oh, no. There are people who want to have major <laughs> surgery who just want to deliver via cesarean section. Right. It's called the uh, mo the mother's will. Right. She wants to have cesarean section for various reasons. Some have for sentimental reasons. Okay. My birthday is July 23rd, by the way, and I want to have my baby July 23rd. It legit happened to me. Mm. So let me give you a very quick story, Lagos. Okay. Um... I, was, I think the EDD of my baby was um, sometime late um, July, mm. and I wanted it to fall on my birthday, okay. Okay, my last child. Okay. And then, because I'd had a previous cesarean section, even mm. though it had taken time, mm -hmm. the only thing you know, they could do for me was a cesarean section mm. or mm. try for labor. But you, if you recall, I've always said I don't fall into labor. Mm. So it could try for labor, mm -hmm. okay, but they cannot induce my labor to avoid rupture of my uterus. Right. So... I had a choice to do that cesarean section. Mm -hmm. But my doctor said, you know what, let's wait and see if you fall into labor. Hmm. And I wasn't happy at all. <laughs> so, you know, because I've had a cesarean section, I mean... So it's funny to me that doctors have doctors. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> we do have doctors. Because I'm like, I'm listening to Ashan, and my doctor said, I'm like, oh, wait, what? <laughs> I doctor as well. <laughs> so that happens. You can, And some people say, I don't think I have the energy to put push push mm. you know let's do a cesarean section mm. and some hospitals do get it right when it comes to pain management mm. you know so cesarean section is very painful it mm. takes it from the body but if you get your pain management well and if you have good pain thresholds mm. then as, as you know you can do it and come out mm. <laughs> bouncing the next day is it possible uh, is it a, would it be right to even ask if one is worse than the other or better than the other I have done both. I Vaginal delivery choose, and, and yes, cesarean. I cannot choose which, to be honest. Hmm. And they both have their pros and cons. Mm -hmm. They are both painful. None is the easier way. Mm -hmm. Because the vaginal breath has its own risk, mm -hmm. right? You can tear all the way from your vagina down the way to your uterus. Mm -hmm. You can... Uh, different, there's so many complications that can arise from a cesarean sec, from a, a, vaginal, a vaginal birth. birth and yeah. you can just do a CS, just go in, come out. Bam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Right. So it really depends, to be honest. Right. Like it, it can't give a blanket statement. It has to be individualized to case, by case. case by case, which right. is a better decision for you. Right. Or are both okay for you or right. Jonathan. So right. yeah. Okay. So those who are reluctant to, to get it, mm -hmm. those who are reluctant to walk that path, what are some of the common reasons that you've heard as a doctor? Um, so religion. Hmm. Religion. My pastor said 
I will deliver like a Hebrew woman. Um, I've been fasting and praying. Hmm. My um, uh, none of my family members have done CS. I will not do CS. Hmm. Um, in fact, <laughs> there's so many reasons, but there's y- I think it's just fear of the unknown. Okay. Like I mean, I I I think we both. Th- I've had cesarean section. I was born via cesarean section. So I don't think anybody should be scared of. But let's also remember that there are um, reasons, indications to why you can have cesarean section. Some are absolute indications. That is, go come. Hmm. The doctor will tell you, if he's not CS, I'm not going to touch you. Because touching you is tantamount to manslaughter. Hmm. Do you understand? And that's hmm. why some doctors can be vehement and say, you must do a cesarean section. Hmm. It's not because they like you. I don't also want to say it's because they want your money. Mm. <laughs> but, but, but I've also heard that complaint. So you you have some people who say, eh, no, the doctor was insisting CS because the doctor wants money. Exactly. That also happens. I cannot say, but I can fight for you if I see your history and I say, oh, no, no, no. This can be, we can play around, we can try for labor, but this is an absolute indication for a cesarean section. So mm. it really boils down to your history. Mm. Do you understand? They say this hospital, they're always doing CS. They're mm. always doing CS. Mm. They say, ah, some other hospitals too, self. they rather just do CS. Like I said, they just go, bring a baby, come out and go. Mm. It's not really so much about the money, but it's how um, they want to keep up their uh, mortality rates on the lowest. Right. You know, um, and things like that. So right. different re- um, practitioners, different facilities, you know, have what, and then some other hospitals say in this hospital they know they do CS. It's because they don't have the capacity to. <laughs> <laughs> do you understand? It's because they're not equipped enough. They don't have the personnel. They don't have the anesthetic to administer anesthesia. And so they'll rather just be doing vaginal birth back to back. I've got a message here from Linda. Linda says that woman killed herself. She should have signed herself and sought for help from her family. I'm 40 plus. I had my first child versus though I called my husband and I told him, but I signed for myself as soon as the doctor advised. As I went for antenat- uh, antenatal, the CS uh, was done. The next day, I didn't even go home. I just called them to bring my bag. Uh, being that 40 plus pregnancy is class- classified as risk, trying to wait for labor at 39, 40 weeks. I accepted the Anufi shout big Linda from the mainland. Linda from the mainland is educated. <laughs> she get power over herself. Mm. Yes, she told her husband, mm-hmm. but it wasn't like seeking permission. Mm. Do you understand? It's mm. not like, ah, should I do, should I not do? Mm. It's not like, are they do? Are you with me or not? But I say, make I inform you. Make I inform <laughs> exactly. You know. Mm. So I'm glad she was able to take that decision. So many women can't. That's what this show is about. To tell you that you can. Yes, you please. can. Look your husband in the eye. Look your pastor in the eye. Look your mother in the eye and say, "I'm going to do the CS. Mm. I need to be alive." Mm. And I, of course, remember what I said last week about you know that Hebrew women talk. Um, so here's what used to happen. Because they sent them... Tell them the story well. Oh. Yeah, because, <laughs> because, <laughs> because they were telling uh, the midwives, the Egyptian midwives, to be killing the babies of the Jews. Egyptian midwives did not want to soil their hands. This was during the Exodus, right? They didn't want to soil their hands because they had fear of God. So they just went and lied to their boss. You know how you come late to work and you lie to your boss that your car broke down on Third Mainland Bridge? This is the equivalent of that. The Egyptian women will go and tell the people that send them to go and kill these babies. Oh, sorry, oh, Pharaoh, Pharaoh, we are so sorry. Uh, Hebrew women, they're not like our own women. You know, they are vigorous. They give birth before midwives arrive. Now lie. <laughs> now lie. Now because, say, they no one kill baby. They, want th- they wanted the, the, the blood to not be on their hands. And so they lied to the Pharaoh. And um, um, that was how the babies of the, of the Hebrew women were safe from murder. So, so, and this is also why if you are religious, you need to read the scripture for yourself and read it in context. Sometimes if you take just one passage and like, you know, you don't fix that passage within the context of everything else that was happening in the story, you may walk away with the wrong message. Sometimes it's good to just read the whole thing, read the full context, understand it for yourself and see that, 
or more if you're trying to be metaphorical about hebrew women giving birth quick quick you want to take it literally that that's what was happening and the midwives were not lying to pharaoh then you can also take it to mean that okay caesarean they will just go in cut your belly bring it out quick quick exactly because they had some very difficult caesarean sections just like the way you have difficult vaginal deliveries okay for whatever reason okay right okay um and then you have some people um in out 20 minutes you're done okay so same thing really okay mm. what are some of the risks with with uh, with cs um, some of the is very important common things occur commonly. Um, you can have so for every s- for every surgery, there's mm-hmm. risk to anesthesia. Mm. Okay, what we like to do here is do a spinal, and with spinal um, anesthesia, you get headaches. You get spinal headaches that can linger. Mm. Okay, but mm. it's very it's, it can be managed. Okay, um, some other people have, of course, if you're not doing your procedure in a good facility, they, they can hit the wrong place when administri- and administering the anesthesia. Mm-hmm. Uh, but ve- that's a very uncommon complication. Mm. Now, there's um, risk for um, to infection, okay, because it's a surgical procedure. And there's also risk to infection with vaginal, with vaginal delivery, delivery as well. Right. Um, also risk to bleeding. Same for vaginal. Same for vaginal. Right. Um, and risk to death. Right. Same, Same for vaginal. vaginal. Exactly. Right. right. So um, there's no, I can't really think of any unique um oh yes so there can be injury to neighboring organs okay okay um so you need to first and en- ensure that you're registering for antenatal in a good hospital okay and that the doctor that you're seeing is a gynecologist hmm. and then he's going to monitor your labor mm-hmm. not anybody not just any doctor hmm. okay you want to make sure there's an a gynecologist and an obstetrician who manages your um, delivery mm-hmm. now injuries to neighboring organs like the bladder sometimes the um, intestines mm. okay and mm. not because the doctor is at fault or mm-hmm. the doctor doesn't know what he's doing mm. but like i always say you want to make sure that you're doing the right thing right sometimes accidents can happen, can happen yes. right so you can nick a bowel right and then you suture up everything and then the bowel starts to leak in the peritoneum and that can cause other infections, infections right yes, right yeah. right then what are the risks for vaginal um, so we've spoken about bleeding, infection, death, um, vaginal, vaginal, vaginal. Can't really think of any extras. Um, yes, there could be um, a tear, perine- perineum tear. Mm-hmm. Okay, which can lead to um, VVF, mm-hmm. uh, vaginal, which could lead to fistulas. I, I beg your pardon, VVF. Mm-hmm. <laughs> which could lead to fistulas, mm-hmm. right? Vagio vaginal fistula, I think. Yes. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, so that can happen. Mm-hmm. And then bes- that tear. So what? Ha- let me explain that tear, that perineal tear. Okay. When the tear is of various degrees, it can just be within the vaginal area. It can reach the, the that skin, which is very thin, between mm. the vagina and the anus. Right. It can also get to the anus. Right. Now, the most dangerous is when it gets to the anus because you know that there's feces around and there. Bacteria. And bacteria. Yeah. So you can have that infection and it can really cause serious cause um, a problem breakdown right um yeah yeah <laughs> okay and then very very importantly is the vag- um, postpartum bleeding mm. hemorrhage okay where the uterus does not contract to stop bleeding right that can happen a lot in fact that's the number one cause for you know i mentioned uh, it last yes week. Uh, tell us how that mortality. happens tell us how that happens what happens there so the uterus is a muscle it's a smooth muscle mm. The uterus is a smooth muscle, and during labor, it contracts. Okay. Okay. Now, what that contraction does, it does two things. It expels the fetus, and it also stops bleeding. Hmm. You know when you're trying to hold something now, when you're tightening, mm-hmm. it's like this. Like kegels. Okay. Like okay. okay. Continue. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. So, that um, prevents bleeding from happening. Mm-hmm. Now, if you do not give the right medication at that point the uterus or sometimes you even give the medication oxytocin mm-hmm. and the uterus does not just respond enough it doesn't stop the hemostasis it doesn't stop the bleeding well enough mm-hmm. so that can happen hmm. okay lagos ask your questions zero seven zero zero nine nine three nine nine three nine nine three zero one four six five seven one nine zero linda sent another message and she, she says uh, uh yeah so it was done in less than 30 minutes i was out spinal and i was awake all through i recommend teaching hospitals or general hospitals because they are good women should not be scared of cs it is safe 
pray to God for safe delivery. Uh, Lagos, what questions do you have about what to expect when you are expecting? Now, we're not going to let this conversation go without talking about antenatal and why it's important. So we'll take a very short break. We'll come back and talk. The talk doesn't stop. Join the conversation on the air and online. Twitter at Nigeria Info FM. Facebook, Nigeria Info 99.3. And on Instagram at Nigeria Info FM Lagos. Let's talk. Hey, Lagos. Been a minute. So how are you doing? Wait, let me rephrase that. How is your account doing? Well, if your answer is no, not to worry. Cheer up. Because I've got information that can help you okay and today's one is from oneplay.ng and you know i've been saying this for one month that oneplay.ng is saying that you can now win yourself a total of 150,000 naira here on nigeria info yes so all you have to do is dial the code star 347 star 880 star 3 hash and just pay only 200 naira that easy 200 naira yeah because 200 naira now gives you more options to win more so you can play to win on any of these stations okay on on the shows on whatsapp play goes from 11 15 to 11 25 on game on from 8 15 to 8 25 p.m and on chat station from 10 15 to 10 25 p.m so after you dial the code, make sure that you follow the prompts. It's very important. In fact, it's the most important thing here. So you specify your number of entries. You choose your bank. Choose one to continue. And then you receive an SMS with instructions to make payment. Make sure that after you do all this and you complete your transactions, you just have to listen in to the live draw. Don't drop your phone and go and sleep there. So listen in to the live draw on WhatsApp Lagos from 11.15 to 11.25, on Game On from 8.15 to 8.25 p.m., and on chat station from 10.15 to 10.25 p.m. every weekday. Remember that if the system picks a number, you, my dear, have won the cash prize of the day. So simply dial star 347 star 880 star 3 hash and start winning yourself some money, okay? Make sure you follow the prompts. And remember that you can play as many times as you like. But don't forget to play responsibly. Determination and sweat to achieve them. That's why you need Dubai Anti Spectrum Deodorant with 48 hour protection. Dubai keeps you unapologetically fresh and confident every day. Sweat it, don't smell it. Get Dubai Anti Spectrum Deodorant today. Dubai is endorsed by the Nigerian Association of Dermatologists. Go, go right. Once you have flow, and you want to make sure you get all the best deals. All right, yes, boss. Lara, you have to make sure that I don't miss you until you get by bonus deal. Okay, pal. I'm a sweet girl. Chugode, your job is to draw up the payment plan. Got it? Mm, no problem. Chugode, Chugode, Lara. Turn it up and get your first smartphone and enjoy Oyo World. Where do you see any Glow World shop? Your one stop shop for big popular the phones which you can pay for at your convenience. Glow, I want it. Tells a story like we do. Stream live football, local and international shows on Showmax, Africa's original streaming service. Sign up at Showmax.com. Join us in this life changing Mega City conference. During this conference, you will learn how to trade and earn unlimited daily income. We will also show you how to protect in the global financial markets worth more than $7.1 trillion and develop your skills in trading Forex, commodities, stocks. Indices, CFDs, ETFs, and lots more. This is an opportunity you don't want to miss. Come with your family and friends. Date, 29th July, time, 10 a.m. Venue, Virgin Road Resort, 1231A, Bishop Oluwole Street, Victoria Island, Lagos, Nigeria. For participation and seat reservations, text guests, your name, to 0902-648-0293 or 0905-648. 718-8575. That is 0902-648-0293. 
0292-618-0292 or 0905-718-8575. The first 100 persons get free access to our August Forex Masterclass program. This event is brought to you by PWG Markets. Attention secondary school graduates parents and watching professionals seeking to enroll in Purdue University. Lever Open University is admitting students for September 2023 and you only need knowledge and local resources with five credits, including math and English. We offer degrees in highly professional fields that are in high demand within the job market. Application is free and you can get 40% discount on tuition fees when you apply early. Apply now at www.lever.university. Lever Open University is licensed by the National University Commission. Every morning is an opportunity to take your hustle to the next level. So, start every day with a great tasting cup of Nescafe 3-in-1. Just add water and enjoy the blend of coffee, creamer, and sugar with that rich, creamy taste you love. To help you start strong and make every morning count. Start strong, finish strong. Nescafe. If you're on Niger Confirm Network, get a super gift of 1,000 naira for just joining the network. You're welcome. 900% bonus on every recharge, 100% data bonus for six months, and double data bonus on your first recharge of the month. That's the Nine Confirm plan from Nine Mobile, and it's lit. To get a new SIM or dial star 1400 hash and start browsing, sharing, and creating more on Niger Confirm Network. Nine Mobile, here for you, here. Niger. Welcome to the Debo Field Show. So, your question is, list multiple uses of Debo antiseptic liquid. Your time starts now. We use Debo for baking. Correct. During and after shaving. Great. To cool my pots and wool. Yes. We also use Debo for cleaning surfaces like the floor and kitchen tiles. Yes, yes. Correct. We also use okay. Debo for laundry. Okay, so it's not very so Debo antiseptic liquid protects you and your family from up to 100 illness causing germs. Debo is endorsed by the Nigerian Medical Association. Hi there, my name is Mercy Johnson Okoji. My name is Jocker Silva. Hi there, I am Apostle Doc. My name is Chef Lily, aka Zanisha Sweet. Your boy Cook with you. I love cooking. And my choice of cooking oil. And my choice of cooking oil is power oil. Is power oil. My choice is power oil. Use power oil. Triple filters. It contains omega 6 and 9. It's fortified with vitamin A. Plus, it comes in different packs and sizes, so you can afford it without breaking the bank. Oh, lunch. Guys, I'm going for lunch. Please, put more steak. Mmm, nice here. Ah, my throat. Ah. Suffering from heartburn and indigestion? Try Just Food. My recommendation for the past 26 years. Just Food is a brand of aluminium and magnesium hydroxide and Simetica. Just Food is available in suspension and tablets. Ready for heartburn, indigestion, flatulence, and acidity. Just Food, now available in new packs. If symptoms persist after three days, please see your doctor. Read rules like inside. Ooh, what you need. My kitty gets to work hard. Range of talented investigators. For strong health, get to Clonus Dog Tiles. All you need. Effective to suit our menu.
Delicious snack with a good head melt wall. Milk, cocoa, and crunchy Niger Rosie. Contains calcium, iron, and fiber. So, pack Nilo and his snacks in your lunchbox every day to help your kids refuel at break time and keep winning all day. Nilo, energy to go further. Nilo! Uh, say you like to save your money. I will save my money. You should keep your budget in a safe time. Happy, Happy Thursday, Thursday to you. Sandra Ezekwesili, what should you expect when you are expecting? Dr. Chibuki Aigwe is here answering your questions. So go ahead and give us a call and ask those questions. 0700-993-993-993-01465-7190. On WhatsApp, we have a ton of questions, like a ton, my gosh. This one here. Can, can we please start with the lady who is above 40? Okay, yes. Yeah. So we have um, Neka from VI. And she's saying she's asking, can a woman aged 40 years and with twins try for vaginal delivery? So I'm tempted to answer her question with a question. 
but I'm honestly not being sarcastic. I want to know why she's considering that mm. because she has two risk factors mm. for a cesarean section. She's mm. over 40, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And she's carrying multiples. Right. So I genuinely want to know why she wants to try. To be honest, you can try whatever. You can try for labor if you want to, mm-hmm. but it's advised against you trying your advice not to try for labor but i really i genuinely want to know why why she so wants that we to. can manage it from there and okay. then you know, talk to her or really understand her thought process because okay. i don't know why that's a question okay so i honestly want to know why she thinks or she's asking okay so neka neka if you can respond to us on whatsapp that would be great 99.3 sorry about that call back if you can 99.3 hello hello ma good afternoon ma good afternoon what's your name ma'am Mrs. Oboli, David's mom. Hey, hi, Mrs. Oboli. <laughs> Good to have you on the show. Please permit me to call you Angel Sandra. Oh, God, please. <laughs> please. Thank you so much. Ma. Oh, I have a question for the doctor in studio, but I just sure. want to say something. Okay. Ma, mm? the day I called you, I had just 25 naira in my account. And after I called you, I don't know what happened. I don't know what you said. I don't know what people heard. But that day, ma, oh my goodness. David did not even have one single pampas or whites in this house. After the money that I received, I was able to buy food stuff, pampas, whites. Ma, mm. God used you as an angel to overhaul this family. I will forever remain grateful to Ninja Info. To oh, Angel man. Sandra is equally. My words can go on and on and on. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I don't know if I should mention the names of the people that sent something to us, but I, in fact, everything just changed. Thank you, ma. You're welcome. Thank you, ma. You're welcome. Thank you, ma. There's no need to thank me, honestly. <laughs> part of my heart, ma. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Uh, Mr. Bimini, Mr. Kabe, Magriola, Mr. Tuchuku. God, it was something else. God bless you. Bless you Shame too. will not be your portion. Amen. Uh-huh. Everything you lay your hands on, ma, will continually yeah. prosper. Amen. Thank Maybe you. I want to say thank you. And after that, I want to ask the doctor a question. Okay. Thank you. You're, you're welcome, <laughs> David. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. <laughs> Bless you Aww. too, David. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, David. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right, Ma. Thank you so much. Um, um, the doctor, I want to ask her a question. Mm-hmm. So David is nice. I don't know. The issue concerning cesarean C-section is always exaggerated because I have to, I have two fears okay. and both kids are okay. okay. I gave that to David normally. Okay. And, and he has know, CP. Not mm. So my question is, was there something that went wrong during the time of conception? He's 12 now. He'll be 13 in October by, his, by God's grace. So can something have gone wrong during the time of conception? Because honestly, I still ask myself, although I was told when I gave birth to him that he was joined this at birth. So could that have been the reason or the issue I'm battling with for over 12 years now? That's my question. Does, does he have cesarean, um, does he have um, cerebral palsy? I had his yes, speech. Yes, ma. Yes, ma. After I gave birth to him, I was told he was joined this. And so we did EBT, ma. That's the extra yeah, blood transfusion. transfusion. And after that, he can't see it. He's always on pampas. Mm. He can't feed himself. We take him to the bedroom yeah. and to bathe him everything. And that's how it has been. But it's just that he speaks, you know. At yeah. least Sandra can hear. Yes, I could speaks. hear what he was saying. <laughs> um, although I could tell that, you know, he had he some can't speech. Speak. He can't speak. If David wakes me by 12 midnight, mm. mommy, he wants to drink what I want to eat. Ma, I am up. So yeah. it is well, Ma. <laughs> Yes, I, I, I can understand how you've been. Um, so I, 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 I run a platform on Instagram. It's called, I've never spoken about it here. Okay. It's called The Lord Spectrum. Um, okay. It's um, centered around autism and okay. other um, learning disabilities. Okay. So we can talk, we can talk offline. Right, you can send me a DM. It's Please, the uh, Lord I think, Spectrum. I think Madam Sandra, oh, mm? sorry, Inja Sandra has my phone. <laughs> I number. beg, I, I beg, really, I beg, I, I really beg. <laughs> it's <laughs> the Lord I Spectrum, T H E. And honestly, does your number does your number end with one nine nine? Does your number end with one nine nine? 
Yes, ma'am. One nine nine. Okay. Yes, all right. All right. I'll I'll share it with her. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you much. So, okay. So I'll just answer. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so yes. You're welcome. Um, Thank I didn't you. hear if you said you had him via vagina. Vagin- yes. Yes. Yeah. So um, it had nothing to be conception. Okay. Now what happens? And I heard your positive history about um jaundice. Now mm. jaundice can be really really dangerous. Mm. At certain levels above 10 millimeter um, microgram per liter, it can cross the brain barrier and, for lack of a better word, stain the brain. Mm. Now, when this, I'm just using stain the brain so that we understand. Yeah. It'd it be like die. Yeah. You know, you can manage, 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 but mm. when it comes over, yeah. the barrier, no fee hold up, yeah. it will touch, it will stain the brain. Right. And that can lead to. A lifelong there's really no cure for what happens after right. it would um cause delay in development and um so speech potty training motor movements all of all that could be delayed right. so it, it's good that when you notice and then that's why you you're sometimes in some hospitals they like to keep you um for um, for a minimum of 48 hours and i know a few facilities that whether your baby looks jaundiced or not you'll be run Serum believing before you leave, mm. just so that they can see if it's rising. Mm. Because it might not have risen to the peak mm-hmm. in the hospital, but you can see when it's rising. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, and sometimes we've seen people, because, you know, um, I think um, the Yoruba culture, they do name in on seven day or eight day. Eight day, yeah. They say they want to go home for eight day. Mm. They do not want to finish in the hospital. The hospital. Right. Meanwhile, this child is John, this and he's still being managed. Right. Some other people, they will be home. They say they want to do that name in first mm-hmm. before they come back right. and the child is visibly jaundiced. Oh. So those things are very critical. Um, I know that a lot of people don't, don't have faith in the medical system, mm-hmm. but truth be told, you don't have a choice. Mm-hmm. It's best you follow what your practitioner is saying and do your own research, mm-hmm. but you cannot compare your Google degree mm-hmm. to your medical practitioner's degree. But mm-hmm. just as when they're talking, you are not even lost. Yeah. You know, but you should listen to your medical practitioner. Right. Don't go against medical advice. Right. Always seek a second opinion. Right. And um yeah. Woo okay. <laughs> uh, you know, this thing you were saying just now about some people want to go home for the eight days mm. nati- uh, naming ceremony. Um, and by the time they come back, the damage has been done. Last week, um, w- after while we're having our conversation, mm. w- one of my colleagues, Tunde, mm. he came in and he said he knows someone that had her baby through CS mm. and she didn't want to do the eight, eight days day. naming mm-hmm. ceremony because she felt that her child was somehow um, less because the child... Do you feel worthy enough? Yes, you know. Um, and, and, and I'm wondering what that's about. I mean, you give birth to a live baby without complications sometimes eh, thank god god no be maybe man no be god god no be man mm. because it can it can it can really hit some people want to mind having these kids that have um uh, what's it called now congenital malformations okay. they just need to hear the cry of a child in their home right. and then you're having a child and you're saying because you had a cesarean section I don't think that's fair enough right. to you, to right. yourself, or to the child. Right. Or for, let me just chip in a little bit of religion to God. <laughs> <laughs> God, I gave the knowledge. Yeah. Uh, thank you. You brought us back to religion. Lagos, I want to read you that passage of the Bible. <laughs> no, honestly. like So this is Exodus. And this is Exodus chapter 1. That passage is inside chapter 1. And that passage in the Bible, it starts with naming the children of Israel, you know, who came into Egypt. Every man and his household came with Jacob. So he named Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, named all of them, right? Then by the time we get to, um, uh, I want to say episode 9. <laughs> <laughs> by the time we get, we get to verse 9, Pharaoh said, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Come, let us deal wisely with them so that they know go they multiply, come pass us for this place. Eh? If war comes, come shell now. And them go win now them go win us. Wars. They go be our enemies. So they now set out taskmasters. They come, they punish them. They give them punishment. Pharaoh made it, made it rebuild treasure city for Pharaoh. Made it rebuild things for Ramses. But the more way they punish is, uh, uh, Israelites, the more way they multiply. The more way they grow. Egyptians say, eh, okay, 
make we attack them when they born. So midwives, they can't call. In fact, you know, earlier I said it was Egyptian midwives. I'm sorry. It was Hebrew midwives that they even called. So these Hebrew midwives, Pharaoh can't call them, can't say, come, these are your women. When they weren't born, kill their sons. If, if you did, if as they did, if I, let me even read it verbatim, yeah? Um, verse 16, Exodus chapter 1, verse 16 says, And he said, When ye do the office of a midwife to the Hebrew women, and see them upon the birth stools, if it be a son, then ye shall kill him. But if it be a daughter, then she shall live. Verse 17 says, But the midwives feared God, and did not do as the king of Egypt commanded them, but they saved the men children alive. Verse 18, And the king of Egypt called for the midwives and said unto them, Why have ye done this thing, and have saved the men children alive? Verse 19, the very popular, And the midwives said unto Pharaoh, Because the Hebrew women are not as the Egyptian women, for they are lively and are delivered ere the midwives come in unto them. That's old English for they get them strong before we reach them, they don't born. And then verse 20 says, Therefore God dealt well with the midwives, and the people multiplied and waxed very mighty. So if you read that full passage, you understand the historical context of that verse. That your born in verse, a Hebrew woman was even based on a lie. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> Like you, you if you if you pay attention to that, you see the historical. Con- you see that like we've held ourselves in a bondage for centuries yeah. over a lie. You know, and and I can understand the 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 desire to like one vaginal because well that's quote unquote natural. I can understand the 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 desire to want to align with your scripture, but sometimes it's good to understand the scripture within the context for which that particular scripture was written. Was written. Yeah. yeah. Let's come back to you now. People, they call me now. Maybe they won't come and say, Sandra, where did you get your pastoral degree? <laughs> 99.3. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> Hello, Sandra. What's your name? Good evening. I'm Adam Azi from Nkotu. Welcome, Adam Azi. Talk to me. How are you? I'm very well. Ah, I didn't listen to you yesterday. I was pained. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Welcome today. <laughs> Sandra, mm? so please, that story, is it, a, is it real life? Which one? The one that the woman died because yes, of Yes, yes. They listen to hard facts. That's how I know about See, them. Uh, Sandra, my last two years, my friend, mm. the daughter, she got pregnant. Okay. So the boy wanted to marry her. Okay. So the mother of the boy now said until she delivers. So this woman now called me and told me that her daughter has been in labor since yesterday. Mm. That the mother and the father of the boy mm. are pastors. That they say they are in the hospital praying that she will put to bed. I just told that my friend that for her, that that daughter she is the one to lose, not not the man, not the mother, mm. the mother-in-law to be or the father. She is the one to lose her, that we lose her child, and she won't come back again. Even if she delivers, they will take that child. So she should go and consent. So that they would uh, 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 operate CS. on the girl. Mm. She moved immediately, entered night bus to Delta. Mm. When she got there, she said her daughter just said, managed to say, Mommy, you are here. She told the doctor. The woman said, No, she's not the one that brought her here. The mother law to be said, No, that the ones that brought the girl, that the ones they, that we say, the woman told the doctor, see, if you don't operate on my daughter mm. immediately, mm. I will send, I will, in, in fact, this hospital, you won't open it by the time I finish with you. This woman is not learning to mm. do you know that immediately they, they, they operated on the girl. Mm-hmm. She stayed in the hospital for like two weeks. Mm. The mother brought her back to Lagos. Mm and ended the relationship there and then. Hmm. She's with, that child is like two years now. Aww. A baby boy. Aww. She's with the daughter and her child. The boy came for them. She told the boy, don't ever near my house again. 
<laughs> because I know your plan towards my daughter, so it won't work. Mm. Don't near my house. I'm not owing you. Oh. You are not owing me. Please leave my house. Oh. That was how that marriage ha- didn't work again. Oh. Adamazi, thank you very much for calling to share that story with us. I don't know where the time goes. We're out of time. Can you believe it, Doc? <laughs> I know. I can't believe it. I know. We're done. I've been talking about half the things. I, I know. Say. But hey, it's a series. <sighs> We're continuing it. See, I like your fine face. So we'll drag you back <laughs> to the studio. And you can talk no, to us some more next Wednesday. No, you know, but it's back to the point that Dr. Chibuki Aigbe made advocate for yourselves as women babe let's go grab a drink now oh this woman go alone now i'm very tired you better come joe i'm buying my favorite yogurt for myself oh she let's go there <laughs> <laughs> i can bet you're also buying nutri yo bifonko with this delicious thick and creamy taste i cannot resist my desire for nutri yo hmm mr nutri yo